Okay, so in your notebooks, I want you to make a heading called interpolation. Now, did we do any example of this yesterday? No. No. Okay, even better. So, like I said yesterday, um, this is one of the college readiness standards. So, that means, like, if you want to get, and I think it's the score band 24 to 27 on the ACT, you need to be able to extrapolate and interpolate. So, don't blame me. I'm actually trying to help you. So, suppose... I want to find the vapor pressure at a temperature of 37.3 degrees Celsius. That's my temperature, and I want to find the vapor pressure of water. So I go to my vapor pressure table, that's on appendix O. And the vapor pressure, I've got 30, 32, 35, 40. But I do not have 37.3 on here. So what we're going to do, Rachel, is we are going to interpolate, meaning going go between. So 37.3 is in between those two values, between 35 and 40. And so the vapor pressure is going to be between those two values, 5.6 and 7.4. I'm going to um, basically teach it to you three different ways. Uh, some people just like a descriptive way to do it, like, okay, just kind of show me what to do. Some people like a mathematical proof. So I'm going to do it both ways and see which one works better for you. So let's first do it the uh, mathematical way. You've got your two points, x1, y1, and you got x2, y2, and their values are 35, 40, 5.6, and 7.4. So those are the values, and we are trying to find a point on the line between these two. We are trying to find x3, y3 and the value would be 37.3 and we don't know the y value. So we have these two points. This point we know the x value but not the y value. So all we have to do, Curtis, is find the equation of that line. The red point lies on that line and we'll be able to find the y value. So all we got to do is find the equation of the line. So this is what I call the, the first method. Find the equation of the line. So first thing I'm going to do is find my slope. My slope is change in y over change in x. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 is your slope. So 7.4 minus 5.6 over 40 minus 35, my slope comes out to be 0.36. If I go too fast on anything, let me know. Yep, Ria. Um, for the slope, why do you think um, y2 again over y? Because I don't know this value. I don't know y3. So I take these two points because I know the values of those two points. 
So I know x1, y1, I know x2, y2. So I take 7.4 minus 5.6 and 40 minus 35. Oh, so that's the one on the bottom is an x? Yes. Oh, that's oh you're asking. talking about over here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's no, that's an x. Okay. So I have my slope. Now I need to find my y-intercept, find b. Uh, you can plug in either this point or that point. It doesn't matter. I'm just used to plugging in x1, y1. So we plug in the values for x and y. So y is 5.6. 0.36 times 35 plus b comes out to be negative 7. So now the equation of my line is y equals 0.36x minus 7. Now I've got the equation of my line. Now I can plug in my unknown point. I know x, plug in the x, solve for y. So y equals 0.36 times 37.3 minus 7. y will equal a number. Six point four three kPa. So that's the vapor pressure. That's the vapor pressure at thirty-seven point three. So that's that's what I call like the first method, um, where you got to find the equation of the line. I think that's the longest method. <laughs> But I think that's probably the most easy to understand for you guys, because you guys know how to find an equation of a line. I think a slightly faster method is um, use equation. I don't know what. <clears throat> There's an actual equation you can use to solve for y3. Because what we did here is we took the slope, we multiplied it by x3, you could take slope times x3 minus x1 plus y1, and that will equal y3. So another way you can do this is by using this method. And you can think of it kind of like this. I'm right here at 35. How much further do I have to go to get the 37.3? Right here, how much further do I have to travel to get the 37.3? The difference, right? x3 minus x1. I have to go an additional 2.3 to get up to this point. I have to go an additional 2.3 to get to that point. So you're taking 37.3 minus 35. And then we're going to add that on to my starting y point. So I'm starting here at the y. How high do I have to go up to match my point? So the first part here is 
basically finding how far <coughs> over do I have to go. And then this one is how much higher do I have to go. So y1 is 5.6. You still have to calculate your slope. So you would still have to do this first part up here. Find your slope. So 0.36 times the difference is 2.3 plus 5.6 equals y3. You'll get the same answer. So this one I think is a little bit faster. But I think the top one is easier for you to understand because all you got to do is find the equation of y. <coughs> Any questions on how to interpolate? actual data from the lab to do this.